I'm Basim Bashir and I work as a B2B business marketing consultant. If you want to learn about marketing and lead generation to grow your business, you are in the right place. In the world of web development or digital marketing, you probably have come across the term landing page. Landing pages are really powerful and there are lots of ways you can use them. So in this video, I will explain what a landing page is and how it works. To clearly understand the term landing page, you need to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. So let's start with the definition. What is a landing page? A landing page is a standalone page on a website designed to enable a specific action. It's where a visitor lands after clicking on a click in an email or an ad from Google, Facebook, YouTube or other channels. Usually landing pages are hidden from the main navigation of the website and are designed to convert visitors into leads. Here is some history and evolution of landing pages. The concept of landing pages began in late 2003 when Microsoft's IT department were looking for a strategy to improve online sales of their key product, Microsoft Office. Let me show you how the landing page looked back then. Clearly, a lot has changed since then. I remember creating landing pages directly within the CMS of a website. So effectively, you would either code the page or use a simple template within a CMS tool like WordPress. Later in 2009, Unbound showcased their landing page builder tool, which was specifically built from the ground up for just landing pages. Today, there are hundreds of landing page builders out there. And every year I see a trend where tech companies are pushing AI to come up with easy to manage landing pages. Let's look at an example of a landing page. Here's a page from Emerge. So Emerge Global offers lots of different courses and different programs. But for the public speaking course, they have a specific landing page where paid traffic usually comes um, and you know lands onto this page. On this page, we can see there are links on the top of the menu, but these links are actually not links linking to other pages. These links just link to sections on the page. And that way, the user can just stay on this page and the only action they can do on this page is fill out this form. If you look at the header, it focuses on the benefit and the actual aim or the unique selling point of this page or the main value proposition, which is learn public speaking skills from a world class instructor. And towards the rest of the page, you can see we're building a story of who Jemaya, for example, in this case is, how he can help in um, teaching this course and what things can you learn. It obviously goes through the pricing of the, of the course and the actual modules of each and every um, different skill which include, is included in this uh, in this course and finally towards the middle of the page we are building social proof by showing testimonials and uh, to cover any objections there are frequently asked questions towards the bottom of the page and these are questions which people could or students might have before joining this course and uh, there's a final call to action at the bottom of this page and every call to action button basically links back to the form of this page. So on this page, there's just one primary objective to get people to fill out this form. How is a landing page different from a website? Over the last decade, many people have asked me this question. What is the difference between a landing page versus a home page or any other page on the website? Let's take the most common differences between a website and a landing page. A website typically describes your company products or services. It's aimed at serving mostly everyone. It usually has several pages linked by a navigational menu. It may offer a function or service such as online checkout, customer service, or access to data. But on the other hand, a landing page may only describe a single offer, product, or service. It's aimed at serving a particular persona or audience. Typically, there are no navigation links, so visitors can't really go to different pages. The goal is to keep them focused on one single action, whether that's filling out a lead generation form or click through to a product checkout uh, page, etc. Please check out my detailed video on the differences between landing pages versus home pages here. 
Landing pages in Google Analytics report. You might have come across a landing page report in Google Analytics. Today, however, we are talking about marketing campaign landing pages, which are different to the report in Google Analytics. The landing page report in Google Analytics shows a list of pages on your website that gets the most traffic from external sources. We'll talk about the landing page report in GA in a separate video. Let's look at how landing pages work. It's important to realize that landing pages create a win-win. As a business, you generate leads and a visitor, it saves time and effort by showing or relevant information quickly with fewer distractions. A visitor will fill out a contact form on the landing page if they feel the information you provided was valuable to them. Lead generation landing pages work somewhat like this. A visitor sees a call to action and ends up on a landing page. The visitor can then browse the page and if the information is trustworthy, convincing and relevant, the prospect could fill out the form and become a lead. This lead is then stored and passed via email or some notification. Based on the data you collect about the lead, you can then reach out to them and start your selling process. How to use a landing page. Landing pages are helpful for various marketing goals, no matter what stage of your business. Let's take a look at how you can use landing pages. Generating leads for your business. A lead capture or lead generation landing page is a landing page that allows you to capture all of the information necessary to convert visitors into leads in exchange for some freebie. This includes information like name, email, phone number. Once you've captured business leads using your landing pages, you can nurture them to become customers to direct sales or email marketing. Persona-based landing pages. Creating specific landing pages for each product or service lets you segment your audience and address their pain points more directly at each stage of the customer's journey. Let's compare these two examples from BigQuest. In the first example here, the target audience is first-time buyers, whereas here on the right, the target audience is first-time parents. As you can see, there are subtle variations between these two pages to consider the campaign's target audience. Validating product ideas. If you want to start a new business and would like to validate if your customers will buy from you, you might want to set up a pre-MVP landing page. MVP stands for a minimal viable product. And in this example, I'm suggesting a pre-MVP page. You can quickly set up a pre-MVP landing page and send relevant qualified traffic to this page. You can then validate your idea if your visitors take an action on the page. And let's say they leave their contact details. Some pre-MVP landing pages are great for testing ideas at a very early stage of product development. Thank you pages. The thank you page is a landing page in disguise. It helps in directing leads to another pitch or offer. You can build customer loyalty by placing links to your calendar, blogs, and social media to build rapport further. The benefits of creating a landing page for marketing campaigns are unlimited. We will discuss five factors that make landing pages indispensable. You can deliver targeted content to a specific audience. Because landing pages are so targeted, you can laser focus on your messaging, imagery, and offer. As landing pages have a single focus and target a specific audience, they secure more conversions and leads. Faster to build. For me, the most significant benefit of having a landing page is that you can build one outside the website's main infrastructure and without using IT or web developers. And you can easily test a campaign. For B2B clients with massive websites which follow sprints for their release cycles, changing even a simple button could mean waiting months. Landing pages are great for building an email list. You can request visitors' email in exchange for valuable free stuff like ebooks, white papers, PDFs, or tools. It can help you grow your email subscriber list faster. With some tracking in place, you can easily check which channels are bringing you the most traffic and convergence by reviewing the analytics with the help of tools like Google Analytics or ActiveCampaign. Landing pages are easy to test. A landing page provides an excellent opportunity to test different creatives and test out different designs or copy. You can easily come up with different variations and test them against each other. The risk of testing a new landing page is usually smaller than the risk of making significant design changes to your entire blog or website. By the way, I've covered a detailed video of the A-B testing framework in which I've explained how to test a landing page to maximize conversions. You can check it out here and also I'll leave a link in the description below. Promote 
products and services. A landing page is a great place to promote products and services. Let's consider the case where your company has recently built a new product. Although you can add a new page to your website and promote it, having a separate landing page to showcase this new product puts the spotlight on that product. Therefore, you can provide more value and demonstrate the benefits and importance of this product to your customers without distracting them with other things. I can go on forever, but I'm pretty confident you can see why using a landing page is an excellent marketing and lead generation tool. Message matching. I strongly recommend matching landing pages with the intent and the right traffic source. To keep it simple, what I mean is, make sure your ad copy matches your landing page copy. Here's a set of rules which can help. For SEO, match your landing page copy with different keyword groups or themes. For PPC or search engine marketing landing pages, match the landing page copy with the keywords and the ad copy. For Facebook ads, match the ad copy and the creatives with the landing page copy and creatives. And finally, for email, match the offer with the one in the email copy. Different types of landing pages. Marketers use all different types of landing pages to make their marketing campaign successful. There are specific landing pages for all different sorts of advertising, be it for lead generation, webinar registration, or different other purposes. All the different types of landing pages have their advantages depending on the final call to action. There are 13 different types of landing pages, but I will not overwhelm you by discussing them in this video. I made a separate video regarding this topic and you can check it out here. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you know everything about landing pages. But before you go, I have a surprise for you. Check out this free download of my landing page checklist that includes all the essential elements to build a successful landing page. I hope you found this video valuable. Check out my complete series on landing page guide to learn more about landing pages and generate high quality leads. Links are in the description below. Also, if you like this video, I share a lot more content in my exclusive community. Check out conversioners.com. In this community, you will find topics that I only share out with my community members and you can get a chance to ask me questions or spend time with me. I look forward to seeing you there. Till then, thank you and have a great one.